Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the franchise mode. Alright, so again, we get eliminated in the second round. So the last four playoff appearances, uh, we get eliminated in the second round. I think this is the third time, and then once in the first round. So, quick recap the playoffs. Round one was Nashville. Uh, so yeah, so game one we lost, but after that we swept them pretty easily there. And then Chicago here. The first two games were at home, lost both of them. Next two games were away, won both. So it was looking like, you know, the away team had the advantage for some reason. Um, this game, back at home, we lose. So then, I mean, back at um, in Chicago for game five here. So that should mean that we win. But nope, uh, they win 2-1 two, two and we get eliminated. Um, Freaking Braden Shen, I think he scored like three or four goals. And all those goals he scored, I'm pretty sure, like, they won in all the games he scored. And yeah, that last loss, it was Hutchinson in it. But I mean... We gave Hutchinson like one game before that. He he gave us a win. I think it was that uh, the third game. So Hutchinson gave us that win, which made it two one for Chicago, which really helped out. But then, you know, I thought I should give him a chance, and fortunately he lost. But I mean, two one can't really blame him. His team couldn't score. So um, that's that. Um, let's have a look at the contract. So yeah, basically, I feel like this year had to be the year to win it because. Allen has no contract left. Same with Carlson, and they're both actually uh, pretty old. Uh, Carlson's 33. I think Allen's 33 or 34. And behind the scenes, I actually already kind of looked at the contracts and everything, and they both want like I, I don't know, like two, three, four million cheaper. So I feel like they're starting to decline. Like here, Carlson, he's already a top four potential. So he's like he's still top two, but I feel like he's gonna start to drop real soon here. Those are his points. Really good regular season points, but then. Playoffs, not really that great this year. The last couple of years are pretty good. So, um, yeah, we got to resign like Carlson. Uh, who do we have to resign? I know it's Carlson, Allen, some other bigger guys. Uh, Marcheso, we can probably let him go. I think he only wanted like one or two million. Yeah, one million. So we know he's going to drop probably a lot. Um, Byram, Crowder, these two guys we're going to sign. Crowder was our leading uh, playoff point guy. And um, he was leading in the regular season for goals, 28 goals. Him and um, Bowers were tied for 28 goals, so that's pretty good. Hopefully this guy breaks out for us. Hilpert Timmons, so a couple guys to re-sign here. And then, like I said, we're going to re-sign um, Allen. So uh, I'm going to re-sign Allen and Hutchinson. Allen, he was at 4.9, but I think he only wants, like, yeah, 3 mil right now, so that's good, I guess. A little bit cheaper. But, yeah, he's a fringe starter potential, so he's starting to drop. Good thing is that um, we'll try to resign Hutchison. We can probably keep him. And at the same time, the miners, we got um, Hart. He's a backup right now. So hopefully next year, um, I think next year he will be at least a backup for sure. But who knows? He might be able to grow to be a, a starter goalie for us. Um, so yeah, so we can go with lots and we'll let in the AHL. And then um, Hart, Hutchison, and Allen in the NHL. And then um, pretty much if Hart's better than Hutchison, Hutchison, he can, just, he can probably just be in the AHL. To help out the young players. Okay, so let's just start trying to re-sign a few of these guys. So Allen, we'll try to extend him. Three years, I think that's okay. I think uh, Carlson said seven years, which is no way we're, selling, we're signing for seven years. Because he'll be like 40 by the end of it. And who knows, he might not even retire. So we've got to like, you know, pay him seven million for like a low 80 overall player. So for Allen, I think this is good. Allen, hopefully he, he's around 88 overall. I mean, if he drops like 85 overall, I feel like that's still okay. But um, let's go for uh, three years because we can still trade him away on that second year. Let's go for like 3.4. Uh, let's do 3.35. Let's try that. Let's go to all skaters. Okay, who guys? We gotta resign Carlson. He wants seven years, but that's way too much. Let's try same thing. Same like Allen. Let's do three years. Like we can trade him two years from now if he kind of start if he starts to drop. So let's try three years. Or let's just give him what he wants. Since since we're not giving him the term he wants, let's give him at least a little bit more money than he want. He's asking for. So let's try here seven point three five. Marchessault will wait. Malak will wait. Tanev will wait. Byron, we gotta resign this guy. He's still only twenty two years old. Elite potential. Four years. Um, how many? What's our what's our contract like length for everybody? I think the longest is Kuknin. I think that's the last time we like signed like a big contract. Okay, McCarr, McKinnon, Kukunen, Druin. But yeah, so let's like, Druin we didn't re-sign. Druin, no wait, we did, wait, did we sign him? I forgot. We got him free agency, right? We traded for him. I think we got him free agency, yeah, so I think six years. So here's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
yeah, so I guess um, Kukane and Julian both have six years left on their contract. So let's try to match them up with those guys. So Byram, I think he'll be a solid defenseman for us. So we have a look at his stats. Um, yeah, he just has that really weird two and a half skating. But then, like he has, I think he's okay for regular season. He's okay for points. I mean, he's a two-way, but I think he's better defensive number. So we don't really, really need to, him to get like 20 plus points. I feel like around 10 points is okay. If he's plus 20, that's fine. Playoffs, yeah, this year had a really bad playoffs, but the last two, like, it'd be nice for him to get some more points, but I feel like he's more of a defensive defenseman. I mean, he's still 22 years old, so who knows? Maybe he'll start scoring the next few years. So let's do 6 mil, 4.7. Let's just give him 4.7 to file. Like, give him what he wants. Let's see if that goes through. And then we do the resign Crowder, too. Crowder's going to be like, yeah, here we go. Crowder, he's going to be likely our second line uh second line winger this year you only want 3.2 let's go up to six yeah he's gonna about want about the same yeah because kukunin's a first liner he is at seven how much is like all of our forwards getting paid i just want to compare him with like our other forwards our top six mckinnon's at 12 7 9 march yeah whoa where, where's joss well joss is 4.4 yeah i feel like yeah, our cheapest player in our top six right now is like Bowers, who's Bowers is actually a pretty cheap contract for the next uh, year here, so that's good. So, where's Crowder? If we can get him for like no more than I say like six, seven mil, I think that's pretty good. So you only want like six, right? Or oh, just about five? Okay, I think that's a bargain. And if he grows and scores around twenty-eight goals, like fifty points, I say that's pretty good. Um, let's just give him what he wants. Five point. Let's do five point five. Six years. Um, any other bigger names with a sign? We got Carlson, Allen, Crowder, and Byram. Um, Hilpert, he was like a really good fourth liner for us. Seven points in the playoffs. He only played half a year, got 12 points. Uh, okay, you know what? He can three mil. He's a fourth liner right now, but maybe he might grow to be like a third liner. So then I think three mil for a third liner isn't bad. Let's try doing three years like Carlson and uh, and Allen. Let's try to lower it a bit. 2.75. Let's try that. Get in the sim. Let's see. Hopefully those guys sign. And who in the finals right now? Or in the semifinals? I think it was Toronto and Islanders, I noticed. Toronto. Yep. So it was Tavares against his old team. And then we got uh, Vancouver and Chicago. So yeah, Chicago, they were the runner-ups last year. And then Vancouver, they're the President's Trophy, if I remember right. Okay, Allen accepted three years. Carlson accepted three years. Byram accepted six years. Six years. And Hilpert rejected. Yeah, yeah, because we we lowered his amount of money he wanted. Um you know what? I think we can probably uh, should we Yeah, we'll just sign him in the actual contracts. We got our bigger names. Hilpert's not that much of a big name, so we can wait. Okay, let's sim to the finals. Okay, let's just go in the calendar to go a little bit faster. Uh let's give it a week and a half. Let's go up to the 18th. The finals should start by then. Okay, yeah, so again, another... Sucks how we get limited again the second round, man. Okay, 18th. Let's see, let's see. I feel like we're one of those teams, kind of like Washington. Like, if like if we make it past the second round, that's when, like, we can maybe go all the way kind of thing. Okay, so this is the Islanders against the Canucks. All right, so I think the Islanders. I think they have uh, what's his name, Gerard. They 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 gave him a. He was a restricted free agent, but they gave him an offer. I think it was like maybe two years ago now, and then we ended up getting like I think a first round or a second round pick from it. Okay, so Islanders and Vancouver. So Vancouver was the uh, Presidents Trophy team. So oh damn, they got, holy shit. Okay, I forgot they drafted Lafreniere. I think in uh, the second year, yeah, first overall, Pedersen, uh, Besser. 87, 89, 88. So they're all how many points at 15 points, 12 points, 14 points. So not quite point per game. The second line looks uh, looks all right. I feel like Bar uh, Bartzi could be a little bit higher. 83, 84, 85. So not bad. These guys are actually kind of negative. Dolan with uh, 15 points. They got Medvinov, uh, O'Reilly, and JT Brown. O'Reilly's getting lots of points. So their center depth is actually really good. 89, 84, 85. Marcus Granlin, 81. Adam Gaudet, 81. And Lucas Walmark, no points. Okay, so I mean, their fourth line looks okay. Bunch of low 80s. Overall, their forwards look pretty pretty solid there. 
Uh, Walmart he has no games. So maybe somebody just got injured for them. Defense, they got uh, Quinn Hughes. Ooh, Clint Duncan. Maybe he just got injured. Um, he probably just got drafted. No, first. Holy shit, they got two. They got two first overall picks two years in a row. I don't even remember that. All right, so I guess year one they got Duncan. Year two they got uh, Lafreniere. Okay. So I don't know. He could be about ninety overall. So if he really is, they got about two ninety overall players here. Uh, Josh Morrissey, 80, about 83 overall. P.K. Subban, 88, 82, 82. Jet Wu, all right. So it looks like Yo, Yo Levy's a bust there, only at 82 overall. At, what, like fifth overall, I think? Yeah, fifth overall. Their defense looks, I mean, pretty good. Like, they got 282 down there is pretty good. Subban, Morrissey, that's Morrissey. Yeah, he's the top four. I think if Morrissey was a little bit higher, that'd be good. But, I mean, they got, like, potentially 290 overall defensemen plus an 88. So that's pretty good defense there. Uh, goalies, they got, oh yeah, Demko, obviously, 91, and they got Marc-Andre Fleury, all right, they got a Stanley Cup winner there to help out, and then scratches, any, nope, no injury, so they got Nate Schmidt, Puglia, and Foligno, so they got some pretty good, pretty good um, uh, depth in case of any injury. Okay, so the Islanders, let's see what they got. Okay, so Josh Hosing, 85, uh, Barzell, 91, Dylan Cousins, so he was drafted fifth overall by them. I think, wasn't year one, I think we wanted Cousins. I'm pretty sure Byram was the sixth overall pick, I think. And I think we were hoping, we didn't trade up because we were hoping like Cousins or some other forward would drop. But then I think literally all the forwards went in the top five. And then we drafted Byram at six, I think, was what happened. So if we got Cousins, we would have a pretty good forward here. But their first line's pretty good. Um, they're still gray, so we don't really know exactly. But I mean, they're probably around those numbers. Jaden Schwartz. Claude Giroux, Anders Lee, all right. So they got picked up Schwartz and Giroux there. Uh, Kiefer Bellows, 83. Bovillier, Michael Grabner. He's back with the Islanders. Adam Ernie, Ryan Fitzgerald, Oscar Lindbaum. They got a few Philly guys. Lindbaum might be injured. Um, I mean, overall, if you go with... If these overalls are really what they are, then I see Islanders forwards are a little bit better. Just because they have, like, pretty much three... 390 overalls, two high 80s, and like one, you know, two, one mid 80 there. And these guys are all pretty good. So I would, I would give the Islanders forward a little bit of an edge over uh, Vancouver's defense. Um, all right, let's see. Doug Hamilton, 86. Novikov. Samuel Jarry, he's still about 84. Let's see how he's been doing with them lately. I mean, not bad. He got his like career high this year with them, so good for Gerard there. Uh, Dobson. Quinville and Ren Pulak. I mean, if you average all of these out. No, I feel like over. Yeah, I think Vancouver's defense is still better. They got like 290s and 88. So, yeah. I, uh, the Vancouver has the better defense. And then goalies. It's Soderstrom and Inzi. Okay, we have no idea who this guy is. We still. Okay, he's still pretty dark gray. So, we don't really know about Soderstrom. But, I mean, he's probably around 87. So, I guess looks like Vancouver has the better defense and goalies. But Islanders might have the better forwards. And their depth for Tannen and Estrosa Phillips, so not bad depth as well. Okay, so uh, let's just sim and see who takes the cup here. So let's see if it goes back to, uh, or if it, if it goes to Canada. And if, um, we'll see if, if Vancouver will uh, riot. So let's just sim here. Alright, oh, looks like we got a winner here. It's going kind of slow. Oh, never mind. Uh, let's just... Uh, I think, uh, I don't, I'm too lazy to look at the scout, whatever. We already know, I think there's like three elite guys going like third round and late. And I think I already pinned them all, so we can just go for those guys. Okay, Vancouver Canucks. So the cups comes the cup comes back to Canada. I forgot, did Winnipeg win? I feel like Winnipeg might have won a cup one of these years, in one of the first years, but whatever. Vancouver wins the cup there. So the cup comes back to Canada in a long time, assuming nobody, no, no Canadian team won before. All right, cool. Um, let's just not sim. Let's have a look at uh, what you call it—the trophies and all that stuff. So Vancouver's Stanley Cup winners, and yeah, they were the uh, uh, the President's Trophy as well. So they did not get the jinx. Okay, so let's say Vancouver beat Chicago in seven. Islanders beat Tavares in five, and then Vancouver won in uh, five games there. So yeah, Vancouver pretty easy. They beat LA in six. They swept Calgary. Um, I guess it was a tough one against Chicago, but then they won against the Islanders in uh, seven or in five there. 
Okay, awards. Stanley Cup goes to them. Um, yeah, in the last five years, they didn't go to Canada. Get okay, player awards. Oh, wait, let's go to this. I'm pretty sure they were the, uh, they were the, uh, what you call it? Presidents. Yep, they were the presidents. Okay, so player awards. Art Ross goes to Sagan. Uh, Hart goes to Allen again two years in a row. Okay. Okay, so this year Hughes gets the Norris. Last year it was between Hughes and McCarr. Uh, this year I forgot exactly how much, if they were close or not. But um, I guess there's that. Lady Bing, Kucherov, Gregor, Calder, Con Smythe goes to Demko. Allen, Vesna again three years in a row. So again, he gets the Hart and the Vesna. And the William Jennings two years in a row. Okay, Zaboral. He sure for Selke. Oh my god, he gets uh, Ted Lindsay, so MVP of the league too. Damn, so Allen gets the same tro the same four trophies from last year. And then Maurice Richard goes to Tyler Sagan. So there we go. So I'm eliminated again, but then Allen still gets the all the trophies in the regular season. Okay, so that's that. Um I guess let's just go to the draft real quick. Uh, I don't remember how many draft picks we have. I know we I know we have our first. We might have like an extra second or third, I think. Okay, so these are all the elite guys going to the top. Elite, uh, let's see. There's a bus there. So these three, okay, here's, oh, two gems. Okay, so we can pin this guy. So there's three elites there. One of them's going the third round, and these two guys are going pretty late. So there's a guaranteed, like, two left wingers in the center. Hopefully there's like a defenseman somewhere. These guys are all top sixes, but they're going in like the top, top 20 in the draft. Any late guys here? Weiss, okay, this gem. We already got this guy pinned. Myers, get okay, a bunch of left wingers here. More centers and left wingers. This is Bolesky. Um, he's still okay. That's good. Let's uh, maybe draft Bolesky. We need a right winger. Um, Aginla. I know he's going kind of early. Jang, let's have a look at this guy. All right, not bad. Kessel. Uh, why not? Let's pin Kessel too. And a bunch of top nines. Okay, so hopefully we can get those three elite players. So I think we're good to sim to the draft. Let's uh, get this get this draft done. Oh, here's the uh, lottery. Montreal, Vegas, Philly, the top three there. Alright. Uh, draft class, we already saw that. Let's have a look at the retirements. All right, so Ovi, okay, he retires as a Vegas uh, Golden Knight there, 880 goals. I wonder if he passed, um, if he passed, what's his name, uh, Wayne Gretzky in here. Uh, Marlo, he's 44, Ovechkin 30. Wow, if Ovechkin played six more years, I wonder how many more points he would have. Eric Stahl, Stastny, Markovic, Oshi, um, Gagne, Okposo, Erickson, all right. Goalies, any goalies, uh... Oh, Lundqvist, Flurry, Crawford, Dubnik, Talbot. Okay, lots of goalies retiring. Okay, that's retirements. Uh, okay, so it looks like Henry Lundqvist is now a scout for the Arizona Coyotes. All right. Um, trading block. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, I should have edited it. Let me just take everything off. I don't want too many trades coming at me. First round, first round. Stewart. Okay. Okay, let's start the draft here. We'll just go into the trade screen real quick just to see what our actual draft picks. So yeah, number one is uh, Montreal, Vegas, and Philly there. Okay, let's see. All skaters. Draft picks. We have first, second. Oh, we're missing a third. Oh, and a fourth. Okay. I honestly don't remember, but... Okay, so we get two early picks, and after that... Hopefully, we can still pick up those elite guys with these three draft picks there, hopefully. But I don't really want to waste any time and trade, you know, trade for third and fourth picks again. It's okay. Let's just, uh, let's just draft. Okay, so where are we going? We're going at number 27. All right. 27. There's a few top sixes here. Um, let's have a look at the potentials. Hopefully, I'm assuming those guys are all still there. So one, two, three. Yeah, so I think Samalainen, we can take them with our second because... At, yeah, at 66, that's like the start of the third round. So I'd say we should probably get him with our next pick. But with pick number one, we can go for, yeah, with Moreau's. These guys are all going kind of late. Like this guy's a gem. He's a top six gem. That might go in the mid second. But then Nikushkin and Moreau's are top sixes as well. But they're considered to go in the early, late first. Does it make much of a difference though? 
He plays in Russia, 46 games. He's playing with men, though. He's 18 years old. That's just under 20 points. Moreau's, holy shit, okay, he's at 70-some points. Uh, Weiss, he's playing in a men's league in Germany. Only three assists. BBB, CCCCs, okay. Moreau's, BBB, okay, he is a little bit more better. Matt Zuccarello, okay. Nikushkin, he has an A in there. So overall, he has the pro release. Theo Fleury, okay. Um, are we good? I think we're okay for centers. Yeah, should we go for like one of these? Actually, looking at all those, all the draft picks, like there's, there's so many left wingers. We can go, we should go with the right wing or like center. But um, I think right now we should go for the right wing. And this guy has like the, the one A in shooting. So why not? Let's go for the Russian here. Nichushkin. There we go. Okay, so our second round pick. Um, I think we're going to go for that elite player. That's the Semilainen guy, whatever his name is. Because we can technically make a take a risk with one of these guys. It could be like an elite or a top four. But I say let's just go with the guaranteed elite here. Oh. Okay, hopefully he's still here. Yes, he is. Okay, so we'll go with this gem. The Salma line in. Let's go. So we got a left wing. Nice. Okay, so now we're going to skip all the way to our uh, fifth pick now, I think. Yeah, fifth overall pick. Or fifth uh, round pick. So we have fifth and a sixth and a seventh. Okay, hopefully some of those guys are still available. Okay, nice. These two guys are still available. I feel like all those other top sixes are gone. There's still Kessel here that we might be able to snag. Kessel, he's going 261. These guys are going 244, 152. Okay, so uh, I feel like we'll go for Kessel last if he's still available. So let's go for Fleischmann and Boyer here. Hopefully Boyer doesn't get picked up. Fleischmann, he play. Oh, he was German, but he he's probably playing in the Dell the German league. Okay, let's go for that other guy. I already forgot his name. Yep, Boyer. He's playing in WHL. He's a grinder. Okay. Just under 20 points as a grinder. Not bad. So we'll go for him. And hopefully that uh, Kessel defenseman guy is still available. He was like a top four potential. It was almost white. It was like a light, like a light gray color. So, I mean, hopefully, if it's like that, hopefully he's at least, like, a... Hopefully he's at least, I don't know, like, a top six defenseman. Or we can go for this gem guy, Keaton Hobson. 40 games played, only 10 points. This guy, 7 points as a defenseman, though. Um, Let's just go to the defenseman. Or the gem. Um, Did we even draft a defense? Oh, I forgot. I don't remember if we... Did we just draft a defenseman? Kessel or Hobson? Is it what kind of defenseman is he again? Defensive D. Sure, let's get defensive D. Why not? Whatever. Okay, there we go. There's the draft. So that's their our what six draft picks? No, five draft picks there. There we go. So we got three elites. That's pretty good. Three elites, one top six, and a questionable defenseman there with Kessel. Go to sign scout. Nope, we can do the scout thing later. Okay, let's sign some guys. So hopefully we have enough money. I think it's going to be like 32 mil. Uh, oh, okay, never mind. We only have 5 mil. Or we had 32 mil when we were signing like Car Carlson, all those guys. But I guess after all those contracts, we're at f just under 6 mil. So let's see. We have only, oh, contracts. What, 49 out of 50? Uh-oh, we might have to. Oh, shit. I should have looked at this. Really? We have one spot to sign oh shit uh oh okay i guess march still has to go or these guys we can all just do a pending offer for now so we, so we don't lose them oh why do we have so much contracts holy shit i didn't even notice or maybe i probably sign lots of guys and they're all playing in the chl probably um i guess after this i could just go to the trades and try to load uh unload a few contracts but, um, okay, so I guess this guy, we can just, we can qualify. We can sign these guys after we trade some players. Okay, contracts lower to 48. Hmm. That's weird. Wait, does it go down when you qualify someone? Let's try here. Or let's just release guys we won't need. Delandria, we might need. Qualify. Okay, qualify makes the contracts go down. Okay, Martins. 
Okay, we need some Martins. He's one of our better guys. Two, he only wants two years. We kind of do a six year thing like everyone else. Ooh, at six years, he's only two mil. So that might mean he, he might not grow. I mean, he's elite potential, 22 years old. His first year, pretty good. 17 points as a defensive defenseman, plus 23. As a rookie there. Um, yeah, his offense stats are pretty bad. He has a good, I guess, a decent shot there. 88, 79 there. Um, you know what? Let's just give, let's, let's just try to save as much money as we can. Let's just give him what he wants. Two years. Here, 1.4. Let's just give him what he wants. So we only have five mil to work with here. Blomstrand, can we probably sign him? Hilpert, gotta resign him. Three years, yeah, three years is fine. Let's just give him what he wants. Try to make it a little bit cheaper. There we go. Hooker. Nope. You can go hooker. Uh, Henry might sign him. Caught. He's our fourth line center. Probably got to resign him. Malak. He might sign him as a depth guy. Mueller. Uh, we can maybe resign him. I think he, we probably just never signed him. Cause he, yeah, he played in German, la, Germany the last five years. Um, top six. I mean, he's okay. 65-21. That's not bad. We can maybe sign him. Okay, so we could let go. He was just a depth guy to help out. Tanev. We can maybe keep Ulinov. I think he's one of those guys. He's like, um, yeah, he just played in Russia. He's 22, 68. I feel like he, we could maybe sign him too. Okay, what? Well, let's just... Actually, wait, let's simulate and just see what happens here. Let's see if those two guys sign. Reject. Dollar value, okay. No, okay. Okay, I gotta give him a little bit more money. Alright, that's no problem. Might have lowballed them a little bit. Okay, let's have a look again. Okay, where are they? Okay, Hilpert. Let's do, uh, it was what, 2.4 I gave him? Let's just do 2.7. And then Martins. We got, uh, we're gonna sign Timmins up there too. Let's do 1.6. Let's just give him what he wants. Let's see. Like, if we just sign him, those two guys, and Timmins, we should be good. Martins accepts. Accepts. Okay, nice. How much money do we have now? Um, we're gonna sign Timmins. Um, I feel like we might not have enough money for Hutchinson. Unless Hutchinson wants like a million, that we can maybe resign him. But if he wants more than that, I don't know. Okay, Malak, we can let go of him maybe, or we can just wait on him. Leandria, Henry. Oh, wait, we can just, these guys are two way con. Okay, we still have five spaces left. Two way contract shirt. Sure. Blomstrand. He's already 23. 68. I mean, we can, we can give some other guys like a chance. How's our defenseman doing? I think we have lots of defensemen in the minors. Let's go by age. We have one, two. Oh, Kessel, we just drafted. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Glass, we have no idea. Eight. Yeah, we're good for defense, I guess. Should we? Okay, I think Mueller we can sign. Or, uh, Blomstrand, he's two years older and he's only three overall higher. You know what, Blomstrand, let's release him. Mueller, let's sign him instead. Okay, there we go. Okay, Timmins, we gotta resign him. Okay, let's see how Timmins is. Three mil, that's kind of a lot. He's a top six defenseman. We're actually pretty good. His last two years were pretty good. I didn't even notice that. 20 points. I think he's a top two, I mean, he's a two way defenseman. Plus 20. Top six. Yeah, he's a two way defender. Um,. Yeah, he's like everything's everything's good, good all around defenseman. Uh, three years, I think three years is fine, but let's try to lower it just a little bit here. Here, two point eight five. We have enough money, Malak. How much does he want? Okay, about one mil. Okay, we can probably resign him too, or maybe Fritz. I don't know Fritz might be ready next year. I think he's like seventy five overall. Get him in. Accept. Okay. Can I so far everyone's accepting? How much money do we have now? 1.5, okay. Okay, Marshall, so okay, we don't have enough room for him. Sorry, dude. 
We traded Shen for him. He had a pretty good playoffs last year. This playoffs was all right, I think, right? He had a pretty good regular season, 46 points. Six, I mean, not bad. Six points, negative one kind of sucks, but six points isn't bad. He had a really good playoffs last year, but uh, I think, yeah, he's, he has to go. Thanks, Macho So. Thanks for trying out. But, uh, yeah, we don't have any more money now. <laughs> okay, Ulanov. Do we have room for left wingers? If we have enough left wingers, young left wingers, we'll just let him go. Um, let's go by money here. So, uh, Kukunin, Lanaskog. Oh, no, wait, sorry. Let's look at the AHL. So, Brust, Korolev, Bolyu. Bolyu might be able to play in the NHL team. So, Brust, Korolev. Uh, Sam Malinen. Okay, we gotta resign Sam Malinen. He he played in okay Finland, so he can play. Um, Boyer, where did he play again? He played in WHL, so he's probably gonna be in the CHL, but we can sign him. Tanev. One. No, okay. I think Bolyu can take his spot on the fourth line. So Tanev, thank you. We can we can just sign him in free agency again, or at the beginning of this season if we need him. Uh, Ulanov, top nine. Uh, I guess we can use him. We have one, two, three. Yeah, we only have three left wingers in AHL. Sure, he'll be our fourth guy here. Okay, Ulanov, there we go. Left wingers are all good. Right wingers. Uh, Nichushkin. Do we need him? We have Henry, Radulov, Konopka. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Listen might be an Angel guy next year. Or he's already at a fourth line. So you know what? Maybe. Okay. So I guess we have we're good. We got Crowder, Hilpert, Leg as our three right wings. And I guess one of our centers can go on to the right wing. So listen, we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we already have so many right wingers. I guess it's the Kuskin. We don't have to sign him. We'll just let him play in Russia. Uh, okay, so right wings are good. Defense looks good. We got everybody signed. Um, a lock. How much money do you want? I think he might be our our seventh D. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six defensemen. AHL, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, potentially nine. I feel like one or two of them might be in the CHL. Um, so I guess, yeah, we can sign Malak. Because Fritz, technically, I feel like he might be a top six. He could be, but who knows. Whatever, we'll just sign Malak here. Two years. Right, let's try 1.1. We can maybe trade him next year if we need to free up, free up that million. And goalies. Heart. Oh, shit. I just fucked up. He wants a one. Okay, we can sign him later on. Hutchinson. Yeah, I think we're going to have to let him go. Let's just send a day here. Rejected. Okay, I'd rather sign Hart because we need like a backup goalie. So let's give them money to Hart instead of um, a lock. And then, I mean, we can just trade for. An, or are we going to sign somebody in free agency pretty much for a, for a seventh defenseman? Asking price. He wants 1.9, but we don't have enough money. Shit. Okay, well, for sure, we don't have room for Hutchinson, so we'll let him go. Let's just try to offer. Let's just give him what, 155. Let's see. Maybe, who knows? He might sign. If he doesn't, in the free agency here, we'll just make some trade offers and try to free up some cap space. Okay, so Malak. Yeah, we'll let him go for now. Oh, we need to sign Cot too. He's our fourth line center. One way contract as well. Qualify. How's DeAndrea? Is he, uh. Okay, it's a two way. We can just sign that. Okay, it looks good. So let's see if Hart doesn't sign or signs or not. If he doesn't sign. Okay, so we have to sign him and Cot. And we only have like 1.5 mil. So I think we need about 3 mil to sign both those guys. Okay, should we just end the video here? I feel like maybe we should just end the video here. Um, let's just look at free agents, I guess. Yeah, we don't have any, any money to sign anybody here. Oh, Barzell. He, he loses in the finals and then he leaves the Islanders. Hannafin. So just like Tavares goes to 
tests uh, free agency. Hennepin, Brady Shea, Nicholas Backstrom, he's back in free agency. Okay. Uh, Granlin, Bowie, Arvidsson. Okay, pretty good there. Pretty good free agency again. Goalies, Huso, Parsons. Okay. Gillies, 89. Is he really 89 though? He's still kind of gray, so who knows. Okay, so 1.5 mil. Um, is that enough to sign? How much does uh? How much does Cot want? 1.5. Where's Cot? Is he in the system? Okay, he's in the system, I guess. Cot. One point. Okay, we can sign him. Fleischman. Oh, I forgot to sign this guy. 17 years old. He's in the Dell, so if we sign him, he's gonna play in the in the AHL. Well, we have room. Let's just sign him. Give him some AHL experience. Caught. Okay, we have the. Wait, do we need? Sorry. Okay, let me have a look at Fords again. Cause we lost, we lost Marcia Soap. I think we got a bunch of uh, guys in the AHL coming up. So we got. Here's our top six. And then 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, yeah, we're okay. Forwards are pretty good. So technically, if you don't sign Cot, it's okay. Like, DeAndrea can maybe play fourth line center. But Cot, I'm pretty sure Cot was actually pretty good, right? He had like 85 face-offs, 84 face-offs. I think he had like yeah, 25 points. I think he had pretty good playoff. Yeah, four, four points, minus one, but... Whatever. Um, yeah, okay, let's just sign Cot. Sure, two years, 1.1. 1 .1, that's a bargain, I think. Let's just sim a few days here. Yeah, let's just get these guys signed. Then we'll uh, get them signed, then we'll end the video here. Okay. Accept. Okay, so we got about like, what, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 mil. Proposed trade. Um, Harch. Yeah, we have like only 0.3 mil. Okay, who do we have to trade though? Do we have anybody we can really trade to free up cap space? Okay, obviously these guys aren't going anywhere. Carlson, Barry, Landskog, Byram, Tierney. Nope. Damn, it's five. Did we sign him for five years? No, I think he must have had that contract before, but I don't remember when I really. Uh, I was a while ago, but then I tell myself like, maybe because his contract is kind of cheap, that's why I traded for him. Because I remember telling myself like, I only get a guy that's like one or two years. Well, whatever, still late now. Um, okay, Timmins, Hilpert, Cot. Okay, you guys are all two-way contracts. Won't make a difference. Phillips. Oh no! Wait. Uh, two way, two way, two way. Any one way contract down here? Nope. And then goalies. Oh shoot! It's not looking good. Heart. Damn. Okay, this is not looking good. Um. Uh, let's have a good defenseman. Shoot. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. These are six defensemen. Our seventh defenseman might be Fritz, or we might just find somebody. But these guys are all two-way contracts. Unless we trade away like our worst player, which is, I say Timmins. Like Timmins is better than Martins, but Martins has such the better potential. But we just signed Timmins. Oh my god. Um. Okay, what? Well, maybe I sh I'll do this trade next video. I gotta think about this. These are one-way contracts. We can't trade any of these guys. Cause the plan. Here's the plan. Let's just say these guys are one line. Oh wait, three, six, nine. Will this be our top nine? I feel like this is the perfect top nine here. Hopefully, Crowder Hilpert grows a little bit, but I feel like this is the perfect top nine for us here. Some bottom guys. We got caught. Um, leg, and who was it? The Andrea might be our, our bottom, our bottom three guys. 
Oh shoot, who do we trade though? Oh my god, we, I think we we gotta trade a roster player now. Who goes though? We just got Tierney. Bowers, he's a or he's like he's our twenty eight goal scorer. We can't trade him away. Joss, is it time for Joss to go? We traded uh Kerfoot last season or like in the trade deadline. Now is it time for Joss to go? It might be Joss. I don't know. I like Joss, but or should we just trade Tierney? I guess a consistent twenty goal scorer. Tierney, he's older. He's pretty much a consistent twenty goal scorer except this one year here. Hmm, maybe okay, maybe we, we gotta trade Tierney. So that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Tyranny. Okay, we can probably make a trade. Tyranny. And I think our depth, like we have so many good prospects. Maybe I don't mind throwing in even like our first for maybe like a I don't know. Let's see here. Let's see. Um we can like boost up our forwards even more. Let's just say this is our first line, 90, 89, 88. And then we'll have Bowers, Landeskog. And then we might have to demote Joss onto the third line, but then we can get like a, I don't know, like another high 80 overall player. Yeah, like these two, we can probably get like a high, high 80 overall player with this too. And I don't mind throwing in like even another draft pick maybe. So you know what? I think I'll I'll have a look at this behind the scenes. Something like this here. Like let's just say for example, Vincent Trocheck. Yeah, like this might be able to go through. Might have to add in like another another thing or two. But like he's the same age as. Uh, What's his name and like? Oh you know wait. In this case, wait. We're not saving money. Sorry, we're not saving money. We gotta free the money. I don't know. Maybe we actually have to trade for a prospect then. Yeah. Well, you know, I'll see. I'll do this behind the scenes, and then I think next video to start, I'll show a couple of the teams that I was thinking of, and then we'll go for the trade. So end the video there. Yeah. Next video we can do that, and then start the sim for uh, season seven. So uh, pretty good off season. There we got three elite prospects. Uh, let's save the game here. Vancouver won the cup, so the cup comes back to Canada. No uh, riding in Vancouver. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.